Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, the chair, uh, Mr. Speaker, I call up House Bill 3979. Sorry, late night last night. <laughs> Lays out House Bill 3979 with the Senate amendments. And um, the, the chair lays like out HB 3979 with Senate amendments. It recognizes Mr. Toth to explain these Senate amendments. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Tallarico, for what purpose? Does the gentleman yield for questions? The gentleman yield for a question. Absolutely. He yields. Thank you, Representative Toth. Um, is, do you intend to concur with the Senate's changes to this bill? You don't want to wait and see? I'm asking you about your intention. I plan on concurring with the Senate. Okay. I just want to ask some questions about intent. Uh, before this bill left the House, we added a bipartisan amendment requiring that our social studies educators teach the history of white supremacy and teach that it's morally wrong. Is that correct? We, did ha we also had the discussion from the front and back, Mike, that white supremacy, and we defined it actually... Right. In and we, the bill, so we added an that, amendment we added to that talk amendment. specifically about the Ku Klux Klan and eugenics and right. And how I was evil the, that was. I was the author of that amendment, correct? You were, yes. And you supported that amendment? Yeah. White supremacy Did, is it defined by the Ku Klux Klan and eugenics is a terrible thing. Anyone that would hold hate in their heart towards a person simply because of the color of their skin is an evil thing. Mr. Toth, did anyone in this body oppose that amendment? I don't believe they did, Mr. Right. Tellerico. So it was that amendment requiring that we teach the history of white supremacy and teach that it's morally wrong was consented to unanimously in this body. That's right. Uh, what happened to that part of the bill when it got to the Senate? One more time, I apologize. What happened to that part of the bill when it got to the Senate? There's still language in there that... I'm just talking about that, that part of the bill, the language it, we it's added. It's not specifically in there the way you and I had it, talked about it. It was removed... The section requiring that our students learn the history of white supremacy and learn that it's morally wrong was removed from this bill in the Senate. Correct. Uh, I worked with you on that amendment, correct? Correct. And I know that your heart is in the right place, and I know that you want to do right by our kids, uh, and I thank you for supporting that amendment two weeks ago. I just want to make sure for legislative intent, you, you still agree with that amendment today. Any way we can communicate correctly you, you agree? Let, let, me, let me answer your question, okay? Because sure. you asked a question. It was an open-ended question. It wasn't a closed-ended question. It was an open-ended question. Any way that we can adequately, correctly, broadly, deeply communicate that to judge somebody based on the color of their skin rather than the content of their character is evil and wrong. Right. So you agree, like you did two weeks ago, that we should teach our students the history of white supremacy and teach that it's morally wrong. Anything that the Senate has... I did just, just a yes or no, Mr. Toth. I would like to make sure that we absolutely teach... You haven't changed your mind on that, that language hatred, that we created, right? That hatred of based on some of the color of someone's skin is wrong, and we should always continue to communicate that. I just want to make sure we're being clear. You still support the amendment that we added, the language that we added two weeks ago? Correct. Okay. So let me ask you again, Mr. Toth, why are you concurring with this change from the Senate? We're, we have a limited amount of time right so now. I just to, want to make sure for people who are watching outside the building or for future generations who read this in the journal, you have the ability also, as the Mr. House author. Yes, Mr. Tellerico, we question. also added Let some things. Let me finish my question, Mr. Toth. So as the House author, you have the ability to you reject why I'm concurring this change with the Senate, and you? have the ability to request a conference committee to fight for this important language Did, so about you white asked, supremacy. So you asked if why, and it, let, would, how about if I share that with you, okay? Is that all right? Sure. Okay. So we, we talked with members of the State Board of Education. We talked with former members of the State Board of Education. I personally talked with teachers, and I talked with the, the Texas Education Agency. And one of the things that we felt like was important was to add some means by which for teachers to be trained in civics. And so that's the language that the Senate added to the bill. Mr. Pillow, I just want to focus again on that important amendment. It was the first amendment we adopted two weeks ago in this House. It was supported by every member of this House, including yourself. So is it fair to say that whoever removed that important language in the Senate condemning white supremacy does not want the history of white supremacy to be taught and or does not want our teachers to tell our students that white supremacy is morally wrong? You know, um, Senator West 
um, added an amendment to this bill as well. Let me and just again. Uh, let me let me answer your question because you asked a question. I'd like to give you a thorough answer. Make sure you're answer. answering my question, not talking no, about something I'm, else. No, I'm totally going to. You asked why that came out, and my question I'm, is going to be right back at you, which is Senator West had the opportunity to add some amendments to this. That wasn't as important to him as the amendment that Senator Hughes took from him. So I don't know what the trade-off was. I'm not really quite sure why one was more important than the other. Representative, I can't so this, answer that. I'm Mr. not Toth, inside his head. Why would anyone who believes white supremacy is wrong remove the part of the bill that says white supremacy is wrong? Let me, let me ask it another way. Is it Mr. fair Mr. Tellery, you asked me a question. You said, do you plan to concur or not concur? Do you plan to call a point of order on this bill? The, I, I'm only a sophomore, but I do know from my two terms that questions come from this mic and answers come no, from that the, mic. No, actually, in the, if you fair, look at, actually, if you, Mr. Toth, actually, Mr. Tellerico, fair, if you look at Mr. the Toth, House Toth, rules, we're allowed to have a discussion. Mr. Toth, is so it fair to say you, that any bill... Do you not want to have a discussion? You asked me a question, I Mr. Toth, I, I know these it. questions are difficult, but you've got to do your best to answer them. Is it fair to let's, say that let's, any... Let's put the, the insult bill, aside, Mr. Tellerico. Mr. Mr. Toth. Is it fair to say that any bill that strikes language condemning racism is a racist bill? Mr. Toth, we can, we can move on to another question. This bill is teaching certain values. In section FA1, the bill mandates that teachers teach an appreciation of participating in civic life, a commitment to the United States and its form of government, and a commitment to free speech and civil discourse. But we are choosing, in fact, you're choosing today not to teach students that white supremacy is morally wrong. So we are just teaching some values and not others in this bill. Is, is that correct? Is there anything in this bill, Mr. Tellerico, that precludes the teaching of white supremacy? Mr. Toth, does the bill mention I, white supremacy? Simple question. Does you made a statement and I'm uh, giving you an answer. Again, is there anything in this bill that precludes the teaching of uh, white supremacy? Again, Mr. Toth, I didn't bring this bill, nor would I ever bring this bill as an educator or a person of conscience. I, but I want to ask that. you, do you think that the removal of this clear and simple language condemning white supremacy reveals that the true purpose of this bill is to teach our students a whitewashed version of American history? No, absolutely not. Mr. Toth, I just want to, you, you know that when there are differences between a House version and a Senate version of a bill that our alleged counsel creates this little handy document side that is by a side-by-side side comparison? You have this? Yes, I do. Mr. Toth, when you look at this side-by-side -side comparison with our House bill over here, the bill that we all passed, <laughs> versus the Senate's what page version are you on, Representative? on this. If you look at this comparison... What, I'm sorry, what page are you on? I'm on page three, but I'm not asking you about okay. a specific page. When you look at this side-by-side -side comparison throughout, throughout the bill, it reads like a how-to guide in historical whitewashing. Are you aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the writings of Frederick Douglass? I am. Are you aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the writings of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Yes. Are you aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the history of Native Americans? The way the bill is laid out... That's a yes or no question, we Mr. Toth. Are you aware that this new version of the bill every removes the history out there that of we Native could. Americans? I'm, I'm going to give you an answer. You're not... This isn't a trial. I'm going to give you an answer. Okay, I'm ready for the answer. The way it's set out is so that a teacher can go to different documents and different authors by which to teach from. It's by no means meant to be a conclusive list. Let me just ask you one more time. Are you aware that this new version of the bill from the Senate removes the history of Native Americans? It's on page three of the side-by-side -side if you don't have it in front of if, you. Then it, I believe you. Okay. Are you aware that this new version of the bill removes mentions of Cesar Chavez? Yes. Are you aware that this new version of the bill removes mentions of Susan B. Anthony? Yes, I am. Um, yet the new version of the bill from the Senate, this is not the bill we all passed as a House, but the Senate's version, it still includes the writings of Alexis de Tocqueville, and he's not even an American. Could that be because he's a white man? N not exactly. And, and let, me, so, let me respond something to... Let me, let me, you brought up Susan B. Anthony. Are you aware, Representative, that Susan B. Anthony was an abolitionist. Again, I don't have to answer questions about this bill because no, I would never file No, we're having a discussion it. here, and there's nothing, in the, Toth, there's nothing about me in the rules from, not being able to ask you a question. From what I can see... Were you also this, aware that she was pro-life? Mr. Toth, I fought know... Against, she Mr. fought Toth, against both slavery? I know these are hard questions. I really do, but I need, to, I need you to try to answer them. 
From what I can see, the new version of the bill removes all mentions of people of color and women from the legislation. Is that correct? Mr. Toth. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So by my, by my count, the new version from the Senate, again, this is not the bill we passed as the House. This is the bill from the Senate. It removes nine historical figures of color and six female historical figures from the bill, which means that all mentions of people of color or women have been removed from this bill. Is that correct? I'll take your word for it, Representative. Could an example of white supremacy, which and we tried to condemn this It also has in here the federal, if you look, it also has on here in page four, it, it, it speaks very clearly to the civil right, Federal Civil Rights Act of 1964. What was the purpose of that? Gentleman's time has expired. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Tallarico, for what purpose? I raise a point of order against further consideration of the Senate amendments to House Bill 3979 <laughs> under Rule 11. Members. We're not going to have outbursts on the House floor. Under Rule 11, Section 2 of the House rules on the grounds that the Senate amendments are not germane to this bill, and Rule 8, Section 3 of the House rules, and Article 3, Section 35A of the Texas Constitution on the grounds that the bill contains more than one subject. Please bring your point of order down front. 